Well, let's see. Alex Marvez. Oh, this. This. <laughs> Alex Marvez is going to interview Jungle Boy. But before he can, Kenny Omega and Don Callis and Michael Nakazawa come zooming up on a golf cart. And Omega is there, and he's wearing jeans and a t-shirt this week. He points out, here I am, champion of champions, the biggest star in the world, but I'm not wearing my fancy suit. I don't have my expensive sunglasses on this week. I am here in plain jeans and plain t-shirts, so you know you can trust me so I can speak to you man to man. Last week, Jungle Boy, you embarrassed me. And so I'm going to give you a chance to prove how tough you are. I don't think you've ever been punched, he said to this pro wrestler. I don't think you've ever been in a street fight in your life. We're going to find out how hard, to, how uh, tough you are right now because I packed a picnic basket for the two of us. And in that pic picnic basket, I've got one knuckle sandwich for Jungle Boy and another knuckle sandwich for Jungle Boy. I laughed so hard <laughs> at his dueling knuckle sandwich comment. So Jungle Boy says, look, could fight right now. I'd rather just fight you next week and win your championship. Omega says, all right, all right, that's fine, that's fine. You got more to gain next week, but I'm not going to let you off the hook that easy. I don't do this very often, Jungle Boy, but I'm going to offer you a free shot. I'm going to get one free shot at me because I know I can take your best punch. And he puts his hands behind his back and he just his chin out forward. And Jungle Boy is very unprepared for this because people don't often give you free shots, but he's not going to turn this down. So he puts his bag down and he puts his jacket down. He's like loosening up. He wants to make sure he gets the most out of this free shot. And then it turns out it's a trap! And Michael Nakazawa smacks him with a laptop from behind. Omega attacks, but Jungle Boy immediately turns the tide. He's fighting off both of them. Omega and Nakazawa go running to the golf cart. Omega, the biggest cowardly dick you ever saw, boots his buddy Nakazawa back to the hungry lion Jungle Boy and zips off in the golf cart. And Jungle Boy is left frustrated in the parking lot. That was awesome. Well, Vinny... Here's here's my thought on this. I would not have done this because it was so wacky, okay? This is not just like a random match they're having next week. This is a match for the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. Correct. And they're doing comedy, okay? Now, with that said, I'm not saying that I would that I would do this because I would not, but I watched this and my thought was they are trying to set expectations low so that they can overachieve in this match. I do not think that Jungle Boy is winning the title. But I do think that they're going to go in there and they're going to have what... Like, they're going to try to have a match of the year before Omega beats Jungle Boy. And I think that this segment here was about under-promising leading to an over-delivery. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to, like, doing some sort of serious promo and Omega goes, or, you know, somehow they're pushing that this is going to be, like, a fantastic match and Jungle Boy, blah, blah, blah. I think that they want to give the impression to you that it's going to be a random match on a Saturday night. It's going to be maybe 11 minutes. Omega's going to win. It'll be fine. But then they're going to go in there and they're going to try to tear the house down. That's what I got out of this. But I thought it was way too wacky for an AEW World Heavyweight Championship match. Go home angle. This is the go home show for that match. Too wacky for me. Not to argue with you, but who on earth that is an AEW fan would not expect Kenny Omega and Jungle Boy to not be spectacular? Well, I think that people would think that it would be good. But I think that people will think that because it's just a random Saturday night, it's not even a Friday night. Like, they've done three shows on Friday. This one's going to be on Saturday. Right. I mean, it's just a TV match. I I think that, that people know it would be good, but I don't think that people think that it's going to be, like, an all-time classic. And for some reason, I just have this feeling that that's what they're going to try to do. I could be totally wrong. Maybe they're doing a comedy setup here because it's going to be a quick nothing happening match, but I don't think that's going to happen with Jungle Boy. I guess we'll see. No, I think Kenny Omega is going to go out there and put on a clinic is what he's going to try to do. As he almost always does. Oh, and it's a mess tonight. It's oh, big, good, good, good. Big, big mess. Uh-huh. I've got so much junk here, I don't know what I'm doing. Brian versus Reigns. That was WrestleMania 6, 1990. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it was not at all. Warrior versus Hogan. No, how fitting. Both very tan. <laughs> 
start I'll out. Say. I've been laughing at myself on the show. I don't know if I'm laughing at myself or with myself. Who cares? Or... You're laughing. Yes. Well, it's What kinda... difference does it make? Well, it makes me feel kind of stupid. <laughs> what? Like Mondo. I'm doing something dumb. Granny, do you personally agree that Brian is on the genius level of intelligence? Of course I am. I don't think so. <laughs> Why? Not how, what evidence, not how I expected what evidence do you have, Granny, that I'm not a genius? Oh, I've got Besides lots. the first uh, ten minutes of this show. We used to do the twist and the polka and the hip-hop and uh, there was one Excuse other me, one the hip-hop? <laughs> yeah, hip-hop. Really? That's what Granny doing. did hip-hop. Huh. Yeah. You learn something new every day. No, I don't. Sounds like you're a grandmaster instead I of a grandmother. My phone's ringing. Can't, you don't say. I, <laughs> who's calling? I'll just let it ring. All right, we'll wait. Yeah. It's probably my brother. It doesn't say on the screen who's calling. I haven't looked. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.